I did it. I am now walking away from the terminus. It feels a little anticlimactic to get to the terminus and then have to hike away, but at least I only have to hike nine miles to get to Manning Park and walk further into Canada. At the terminus there was two other girls from U the US and a guy from Slovakia and they are all turning around and have to hike 30 miles back to Hearts Pass which is the closest road in the US and then they'll get picked up and make their way to, S to Seattle to fly home. So at least I only have nine more miles and I will be sleeping in a warm bed tonight but it does feel a little anticlimactic to get to Terminus and still have more to do but I am on this side trail and it is a little bit overgrown so hopefully it sorts itself out soon. This bridge looks a little bit wonky, but people have said it is secure. <laughs> I do not like the shaking and the noise it makes. <sighs> okay, we are safe. To give a brief update, I am currently in Manning Park um, after the terminus is eight and a half miles to get to Manning Park, um, which is a place where it looks like there's camping. It's right along the road, um, but there's camping, um, a lodge with, re with restaurant and things like that. So I'm going to hang out here for a couple hours, get some food, and then the shuttle to Vancouver will pick me up in the parking lot. Good morning from a hotel room in Richmond. Um, so yesterday was a little bit, the ending of yesterday was a little bit emotional for me in terms of I had a shuttle that I prepaid for, prearranged, um, that was supposed to pick me up from Manning Park and take me to Vancouver. It wasn't just picking up me, it's a shuttle that has like 10 or 15 different stops. Um, it was supposed to pick me up at 2.40 at Manning Park. It never came. My last communication with a lady in the office was at 3.30 where she said it should be there any second. Um, it didn't come. I emailed half hour later just asking for another update and I think the office was closed. The lady went home or something. So we never got an update. Um, I waited till like 4.45 and then um, started getting very panicky because the only reason so to from the northern terminus, the options are hiking nine miles north into Canada to get to Manning Park, which is what I did, or turn around and hike 30 miles back to Hearts Pass and then get a, get to Seattle. Um, the only reason I hiked north into Canada was because of the shuttle, because I had this prearranged ride. Um, I didn't want to, so Vancouver, the airport, is two and a half hours away from Manning Park Resort. It is in the middle of nowhere, there is no public transportation, so I did not want to get stranded there. Um, so the only reason I walked north was because of the shuttle. So by 5 o'clock when the shuttle wasn't hadn't shown up yet, um, I started to get very panicky um, thinking I was going to be stranded there. So I gave up on the shuttle um, I was and I went to the highway that was right along Manning Park. Now I could still see the resort so if the shuttle happened to show up, the shuttle never showed up um, by the time I left. Um, and I'm waiting for an email from the company to figure out, you know, what happened or if I can get my money back. Um, but anyways, I was trying to hitch on the road 
I needed to go west. All the cars were going east um, in half hour. I think only four or five cars passed me by. But thankfully, um, and wonderfully, an older Polish man who's lived in Canada for 28 years um, was returning from elk hunting. Uh, he stopped. He stopped for me um, and drove me. I think slightly over two hours to where close to where he lived in Delta, uh, which is like a suburb of Vancouver Richmond area. So he dropped me off at a popular shopping plaza in Delta, and then from there I was able to take an Uber 20 minutes to get to my hotel. So. Uh, everything worked out as it does. Um, you know, I'm used to that happening on the trail in the U.S. around communities that are familiar with the Pacific Crest Trail. It was very stressful for me being here where, like, this man didn't even know what the Pacific Crest Trail was. Um, so I was truly hitching with people who had no idea who I was or why, like, not who I was, but, like, what I was or why I was there versus in the U.S. along the trail. Everyone knows that. Um... So it made me very, very nervous, very, very worried, and I did give up hope that I would make it to make it here on time to catch my flight today. Um, but it all worked out. Greg was a very nice man, um, and now I am here waiting in my hotel. Uh, my I have a couple hours, two hours before the air the hotel will take me on the shuttle to the airport. So I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and then just for fun, there's a Costco next door. I'm just gonna go see what a Canadian Costco looks like. Also, as a side note, I'm pretty proud of myself. Beyond a cliff bar and a pop tart that I'll take for snacks on the plane, this is all the food I have left for my hike. A half a jar of peanut butter and these two things. So I'd say um, I ended pretty good with my food and didn't waste a lot. He's like, oh my god, what are you doing, buddy boy? Hi, baby. Hi, I got my kisses from you. I got my kisses She's from like, oh my god, she's back. Hi, she's alive. I knew it. Hi, baby. 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 Hi, baby.